Welcome to the bridal pit stop where it has a split. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do this. Welcome back to the bridal pit stop where we have conversations about all things bridal today 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 is gonna be super exciting um, and super interesting first of all I would like to apologize no I'm not apologizing Hello. we had to take a break so that we can revamp and just think things through and figure out how we're going to make this thing more interactive more exciting more entertaining entertaining for sure <laughs> so we are back with fresh new episodes um, of the bridal pit stop so we hope you'll continue to follow us and and like and subscribe we are going to get there very soon <laughs> um yeah so today we have a very wonderful guest somebody who's very dear to my heart um she will introduce herself and then we will, i guess we will introduce myself yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. I will introduce myself. Yes, I said she will introduce. No, you said we'll introduce her, herself. <laughs> I, I Sorry, guess. we'll do this a lot in the <laughs> clearly. Um, yeah. So, I'll introduce myself. So okay. So please introduce yourself. <laughs> Who are you? Who Why are, are you in my show? What am I? What have you done? Why? Yes. Hey, yeah, well, that is okay. In fact, that's the first thing I told you. Don't tell me what I uh, will ask me that question. But uh, anyway, I guess that's what everybody asks. But yes, we need to know who you are. We need um, to know what you do. You know. Who I am? Who am I? What I do? Uh, who am I? Uh, I am still going to set up it to figure out who I am anyway. But uh, as for now, I can start with my name. Uh, my name is Stacy Oma. Um, I am um, okay. Usually, people talk about career. Cindy, when they say, Who are you? No, I, I, I <laughs> believe you can decide, like, okay, not decide, but you can decide out, okay, yeah, you can decide out to answer that question. Okay, I don't want to be okay. It's, I, it's, I, okay, I try not to be cliche, mm -hmm. but I mean, I am um, also trying to follow Jesus. Let's just be like that. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying. I can't say I'm uh, perfect. I'm just trying. Even we're all Peter, trying. You know, after watching the chosen, really? that's what I realized. These disciples were just trying. It's not like they were. No, there was, there was nothing about perfect. perfection. You know, they were yeah. just trying. Yeah. I think the Bible kind yeah. of makes it seem like yeah, they were perfect. But yeah. I'm just trying to follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, but I am saved, so at least I made that decision. Okay. Then I'm just trying. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm married. Whoop, whoop. Yes, it's been a year and some change. I finished two years in like a few months. Actually, it's like a month and some change. You were in June. See, it's, it's gonna be August, like a month and a half. Yes. I'll be, I'll be, I'll have finished two finish years. two years, yeah. Yes, yeah. I'll have yeah. finished two years, married. Mm -hmm. Woo, woo. And how is, before we continue, how is, how, how would you, in three words, mm. how would you define marriage? <laughs> You know, marriage, interesting thing about marriage, marriage can be defined differently depending on the season you are in. I don't refuse. The season yes. that you have been in. Uh, the season. Of course, you know we are talking to brides-to-be, yeah? And even couples-to-be generally. So, and people question, who are hoping to be married. And people who are hoping will, to be married. will not lie to you, oh. I will not lie. You people just think marriage about fantasies. <laughs> yes. So, um, so the question I like, okay. I like asking is, how do you, for the to one and three quarter years you've been married how would you define three words is, a lot, is, a, is short but i'd say i think for me i'll just put it in a sentence i think marriage is about choosing each other every day that's mm -hmm. that's as simple as it is mm -hmm. because uh, you can choose so many other things mm -hmm. and not choose each other yeah so like it's a matter of just choosing your spouse every single day yeah. and, and i'll always hold dear what my dad told me um i think it was the day before mm -hmm. or two days before we went for coffee and he was like just take it a day at a time yeah and it's just one day if you can't even just one hour even just one minute, one minute just, is true. just take it just like before it's you know true. you will have finished 20 you will have finished 30 you will have finished all those years yeah so and for me it's just like that just a day at a time mm -hmm. even me honestly sometimes you you feel like hey how have i been this two years <laughs> You wonder, you know, wah, wah, you know, wah, 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 wah. it has yeah. its highs, its lows. Sometimes, you know, some people have highs for a long time. Yeah. Some people, their lows come faster than others. Yes. You know. Yes. Um. Yeah. So, 
it, as I said, it can be defined differently because yeah. the people who don't need to have challenges until year six yes. will be like excited, yeah, enjoyable, I know. fun, and then you, you are chapped by life, Quah! you know, yeah. and then you're like, okay, commitment, <laughs> soberness. <laughs> choose each other you know all those deep deep things yes. will be that season so maybe like two years yeah. i'll be like great okay not because it's not great guys please don't misunderstand me yeah i'm just saying depending on the season you're in yeah. it can be defined differently yeah yes okay um yeah. yeah so i think that's that's a basic introduction i think that's a good introduction no you you are interrupted me I interrupted. No, yes. you, you see. I'm a wife. You excited. You asked me a question. Then now I need to go back to the other side of. Okay. I'm actually um okay. I like calling myself a cake artist, but people call me many many different things. <laughs> Mama cake. No, that's I'm not that I refuse. I refuse. I said, oh, please just get your life together. I'm not that. You know. <laughs> Um, they they came they came correct in the DMs, so okay. I was like, okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, but I think I'll say I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. I think my canvas is just cake. That's mm -hmm. what I would really call myself. I'm mm -hmm. an artist. Mm -hmm. Um, and I also run a social media, not really social media, digital marketing agency that focuses on marketing through social media. Yeah. So those are the two um uh, businesses I do. Of course, we we'll put the two ding 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 ding. The links, what the are links, called? yes. The two links down below and things yeah, like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's what I do. But for for the longest time, I've just finished. I just had the digital marketing agency like a year ago. Mm. But in terms of baking, that's what I've been doing since. Since you, the one who knows the story now, she used since, to bake mad cakes for us. Yeah, mad cakes with blue. I'm sure all girls, almost girls did it, but I think I was way more no, committed to. Not, it's not a most it. girls thing. It's not I don't think so. Yeah I, yeah, I was baking. I messed cakes. My mom told me you are wasting ingredients. Now I understand mm. the page <laughs> of wasting <laughs> ingredients. You know, back in the day, I was like, what do you mean? I'm practicing my passion. Yeah. Hey, now you're like, you guys, in the panda. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. So, but I, I, yeah, that's how I grew. I went to school. Mm -hmm. um, my first degree was in uh, hotel management in uh, USIU. Then I went and did baking and pastry management in a college called Valencia College in Orlando, Florida. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, then I came back, done a lot of internships, never mm -hmm. really been employed because I think that was, I think I'd already foreseen yeah. this was not for me, you know, yeah. and I really resisted. I think I was a very strong-headed person, a child, so I, they could not have decided it mm -hmm. in any other way. So, yeah. and that's how I got myself here. Yeah. So recently, that's oh. when I've gone now into weddings. Yes. And it's been an interesting journey. I think we will talk about that interesting journey yes. um, as we go along. But then the, also, the other question then we need to answer is, so why are we doing the bridal pit stop? Why are we doing the bridal pit stop? <laughs> yeah. It's reminding me of a show we just watched. This guy and all this was swirling, then he returns and asks another question. And you're like, what do you want? Answer the question. So no. why are we doing the bridal pit stop? So, but okay, but I guess it would, it would make sense to start it off because I, I, I kind of had the idea mm -hmm. of of um helping brides or brides to be kind of just figure out how to go about this whole planning process because when I was researching and looking for information about how to plan a wedding, mm -hmm. I was just getting a lot of Western based advice and yeah. Western inspiration. And because Africans is, do as they go, that's the thing. The <laughs> truth is, in Africa, rather in Kenya, even how we do our weddings is very different. Mm. There's no part of the dowry or the or the what's it called introduction. the introduction or oh, you have to make an introduction dress where you have to hold your introduction like there's nothing like that on the internet you can see during the introduction dress okay but this day it has changed but yeah and then also just the, the the like the challenges of bringing two families together two african families from different tribes Dynamics. different cultures yeah. Um, it's funny how I think in the Western world you say, oh, I want to get married. Married. Oh, tomorrow they're marrying. It's so nice, by the way. <laughs> it's so nice. It's so nice. It's so simple. I have, I have met no of many people. Let me say, not in a bad way. Guys who are not married and they keep saying, me, my wedding. My wedding. I would only have 50 people. Yes, if we are post COVID, so just know that story has ended. If you miss the COVID train during the, the wedding, that was the train should have jumped on, and that is it. Yeah, so that that's the reason why I felt <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know someone. 
I know someone is like, yeah, one fifty people. I'm a good friend, but like me, I'll only do traditional. I'm not gonna do the eh. And you then, before you know, <coughs> yeah, and, and, and they're still dating. dating. You're making a dress. I said, do we know people? <laughs> Once no, you will know that you will know the wedding is not yours. Yes, when you get there. But to be honest, okay, it depends. If you're willing to like burn bridges for the short period, uh, uh, that now will come. She, you're you're jumping the gun. It will. It might. It might be possible. You're jumping the gun. Keep calm. Keep calm. So basically, that's why the bridal pistol was started. Um, uh, to just help give you like give the kenyan perspective in mm -hmm. terms of doing weddings and the advice that um might go a long way actually when you're planning but if you're a kenyan or even if you're an african because exactly. more or less thing. more or less our cultures like, like like the the process is almost similar mm -hmm. maybe the details is what will vary depending yeah. on where which part of africa you come from mm -hmm. but essentially weddings in africa is not the same as weddings in the west and i'm sure there are many other cultures like indian weddings it's, it's a whole so different so ballgame. Different. It's a whole it's different ballgame. Okay. So, so after when we started, it was kind of like a pilot, seeing how the things things are going. You know, the first few episodes. If you can go back and check them out, give us feedback. You know, that would be great. Um, then uh, my so this is my sister. Yes, I do know how to introduce that, but this is my blood sister. Um, yes, you can. Tell us in the DMs who do you think is the firstborn. And those people who know, keep quiet. Please. Eh? Just, just. Some people already know who the firstborn yes. based on many things. <laughs> no, not necessarily. Not necessarily. But tell us who you think who the firstborn is. But we, yes, we are blood sisters, same parents. Um, and we are both in the wedding industry. So she does uh, beautiful wedding cakes. I do uh, wedding gowns and bridal couture and all the likes. Um... So her husband apparently one day yeah, was like Yeah, this was actually my husband's idea. I was like, but why don't you guys do this thing together? Together. And I was like, why they? Oh yeah, and then just um for those who don't know, I actually host another podcast yes. with my sister in law called Adulting for Adulting Real. Adulting for Real. What's so Adulting for Real? Oh yeah. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, there's a, a very interesting podcast, um and which we also now try to get back as well yes um so we'll put the link as as well down below and the truth is she she's actually quite hilarious you guys <laughs> like she's more hilarious like i'm the serious sister she's the funny one the life of the party <laughs> so when she told me why don't we do this thing together i was like come it, on boy it makes sense it does it makes sense it you makes know sense. and then also because the math was mathing it was mathing <laughs> but the thing also was because we've been having conversations in the background just about the kind types of clients we meet mm -hmm. the kind of weddings we have you know the type of people we meet and the kind of advice we need to give them and the fact so that it only both married sense. also yeah it's like at least we're talking from like hindsight as yes. well yes you know? so it made a lot of sense yeah. so that is how we ended up with this new kind of revamp for bridal pit stop and it's only just the beginning yeah what do you have to say what do i have to say or what do you think is that i'm super excited mm -hmm. to be part of this um thank you for it, no, yeah I, 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 you are saying thank you for accepting. agree yeah then i realized no actually you're the one i'm the one who suggested yes so yes. thank you for accepting me basically it should be like that yeah. they want something but um i think it's gonna be a great experience yeah. um it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna have a interesting time, um, and I, I just I'm just looking forward to you know the, the information and the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> educate, entertain. And educate, entertain. So it's like I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to be the entertainment part of this. But also, guys, I'm not an empty debate. I have <laughs> I have information I can share. You need to so, give context. So in Kenya, there's a Swahili proverb. Is it a Swahili proverb? Yes. No, no, no it's, it's combined. Swahili. It's combined. It's like it's like combined Swahili in English because it's, it's one word. It says empty debe makes the loudest noise. Yes. So 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 it's like an empty can. Yes, an empty can. Have you ever banged an empty can? You just no, no, jerry can. Jerry can is better to describe. Jerry can. Jerry can is plastic. Yes. Have you ever put my water in a jerry can? 
And then when it's empty, the way it has, it, it is louder than when it has water. I guess whatever container it is, it's louder when, when it's empty. When it's empty. Yes. So if you somebody who makes a lot of noise, basically, Debbie makes the loudest noise. Yeah. But in the I'm blocks. saying I'm not empty. Yes, she's so not. So I have she's at least not. information. But this thing is more of like the us just bouncing things back and forth. So if there's anything you guys want us to discuss, any questions, any advice that you yeah. think we should also tell people, because you see we've had only one perspective yes. when it comes to marriage yes. and when it comes to like planning weddings and things like that so um yeah just let us know dm us i think also we will have a, a lot of guests also vendors who are also you know uh, coming up especially who uh, would give the experiences of what has happened just to also show you you know we know we it's your human. wedding we know it's your wedding but we're not robots eh? yes we're not robots just yes. just Kindness, you know these love and light things you people like talking about here. Just, <laughs> just, just put an also of it when you are planning your wedding, so that we also feel like any way you guys are also, eh? Yeah. You know. So, so yeah, just that experience. So back and forth is gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. So yeah, are we are we stopping here or are we continuing no, our conversation? We are. We. I want us to have a a, a brief conversation. <laughs> um, like because the format usually, is, especially when I have guests on board is i like to talk about your wedding planning experience mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. um i i i talk about mine in bits and pieces depending on the conversation that we're having mm -hmm. so but i'd like to hear about yours um and i'm sure our audience would like to know tell us so first of all how was your proposal oh yeah my proposal I, it was nice mm -hmm. I, it was so nice mm -hmm. um as i said I, I i studied in florida so in 2018 my, my husband was also studying there as well so 2018 april but i was very specific yes. you see me out me me I, I, she didn't like surprise surprise me no, like surprise me in execution not in the idea <laughs> surprise me <laughs> Surprise me the execution, not yeah. in the idea. Yeah. So I already told him how I wanted to be proposed to. Mm -hmm. Like and I okay, all I said was I wanted to be on the beach. That's all I <laughs> like I'd not see execution is the one now. It was for him to decide, but I just told him beach. Yeah. Then I was very yeah, I was very smart. I said one day I just took his phone, knocking okay, not for everyone, just know your spouse also. Know your person. I took his phone, I just created a Pinterest board there. Engagement ER, engagement rings. I think even that board is still on his Pinterest. I, so. I just put qua 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 the nice ones I I like then I said ah, any of these if he just picks them I am okay so if it was very I know my husband is very logical so he says ah here is the one click click buy purchase okay delivered yeah. <laughs> there yeah. was nothing even you know no stress mm. so um um on that day um I had I had come to visit and uh, my sister in law Sheridan and another friend of ours were, were like no let's go for lunch and I was like Guys, I'm not even feeling it's like no, just come, let's go hang out. I think I had not seen this other friend for quite some time, so it yeah, motivated me to be to like, go, Okay, yeah, let's go hang out. Yeah. So she managed my sister in law managed to convince me to wear the dress that my husband wanted me to wear. Mm -hmm. I, I did overdress, you know, even if you see the photos, I'd not done like makeup or anything because I was like, yeah. Hey, go ahead, prepare there thinking there's something. And then you realize there's nothing, guys. Yeah? Have you ever prepared yourself? You are dating somebody. Yeah? Then you prepare yourself on your birthday this or some day. some nice function, and you think you are going to be proposed to. This must let me beat the face. Oh, thank you guys for coming. We are so grateful. Happy birthday, and we move and on. It goes like that. So you think the box <laughs> that is being given is a ring? <laughs> Could be the bracelet. No. It's a bracelet. It's a bracelet. Or a brush. Or a ah, that's even worse. <laughs> that's even worse. Aye. Yeah. yeah. So some of us. Yeah. Hey, they went through the frogs before they found the priest. We'll, we'll have that conversation at some point. So the point was, um, mm -hmm. we got to the place and mm -hmm. my friend was like, okay, let me just park the car here. Uh, you know, because in Florida, it's it's like Mombasa. So mm -hmm. there are many like uh, across the beach restaurants and stuff. Yeah. So like, let's park here, then we'll just walk across mm -hmm. to the restaurant. I was like, ah, easy. By that time, I didn't stop thinking about it. Because you know, you yeah. think, 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 oh, it must be this day. Yeah. must be this day. I was like, ah, whatever. Because even that morning before I had a doctor's appointment, I went, it was fine, came mm -hmm. back, then we moved. So the way it was done was that there was like um uh it was us and then there was like a road and yeah. then you cross over now to the beach. Yeah. So when I was now crossing over, that's when now I saw my husband with like oh my god like a Some love nice thing. love hat thing. And then they had done like nice TNS lights. and everything. Guys, I'm so sorry, like 
I don't know who is doing some construction right now. Oh yeah. Timing just, is just the worst. But just, just bear be patient. with us, please. Yeah. Just just I think I'm to skate like they've had us talking now, they have kept quiet. So uh yeah, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> hey, I was I could now the funny thing is I did cry, but I couldn't walk. So like oh, yeah. if you see my legs <laughs> so so my sister Shendon is just holding me as I'm going down the stairs. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So now we went, then yeah. he said many things, no one ever remembers what the husband says before they proposed. The proposal, and then he remember. was like, New Year. Then I opened the like, he said, Really wanted, yes. Then now then. Yeah. Oh so nice, so nice. I the still have the photos. <laughs> We'll um, show you photos. Once in a while, I look photos. at them. It's yeah. so nice, so nice. Oh yeah, he got a photographer and everything. Mm. Yeah, so nice, so nice. Wow. Oh, the proposal. <laughs> and then we always think, like, it's funny how once you get proposed to, it's, yeah. it's like wow, wow. Then you don't realize like this is a whole journey. Yeah, that journey, by the way. That's awaiting you. But funnily, so, I didn't. I didn't. I was not. Um, so in a hurry to get married even after I got engaged. Yeah, but you, you weren't. Me, I wasn't in a hurry. Yeah. First of all, I was so young. Uh, <laughs> I was twenty two <laughs> when I got engaged. Yeah, I was I was twenty two, and for me, it was more of the commitment. Yeah, I think I I, I cared more about the commitment because I was first of all coming back home. I was yeah. like, you guys, you say that you are You're doing proposing. this yeah. or you are not doing this. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I was like. He was like, okay, I guess this is it. Do the things. We mm. got the things done. So we were engaged for like two years. Wait, how many years? Yes, two years yeah. before we got married. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it was, it was banging interesting. Back. No, it's okay, guys. You'll understand. Cindy, okay. Thank you for bearing with the noise. Yeah. We, we are still and trying to work And avoid circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, yeah, I remember I was supposed to be woken up by her sister-in-laws so that i can be part of the process that's what shared on fanny aguka mtiani she failed the exam so i i actually i think i'm glad we even called because i you were wondering it's taking too long yeah i was like this call is not happening what's that and i was asleep yes but i said my phone was on was on i was just waiting because i need to be part of the process so by the time it's like oh it's happened i'm like yeah yeah we know we know even mom and dad know yeah 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 it didn't happen they they when i called i'm like oh we forgot Oh yeah, that was sad. We are now here for dinner. That was sad. That to was dinner. Sad. No, like, but at least you called, we talked, you're like, oh my gosh, congratulations. Yes. But interestingly, because I was so young, I would say my extended family were a bit like it was a bit like how do you put it? No, it's not melancholic. The, the, there was not much excitement yeah, as you from expected. my from my from my extended family. Yeah. Which was kind of like a bummer, but I was like, anyway. You don't know my man, I know my man. No, I didn't say I told her like that, but yeah. I was just like anyway. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. So so then how was the planning process afterwards? You, you said you didn't get married immediately. Mm-hmm. So um what what was happening then in between? How were you preparing for the wedding? Or what are some of the things that you did to prepare? What are some of the things I did to prepare? Mm-hmm. Initially, I was like, okay, I downloaded this app that it's like a wedding uh, planning, wedding registry app called the Knot. But it's only based, it was only in Amer- it was only uh, applicable in America. So yeah. of course, when I came back now, there were no apps or yeah. anything. Yeah. So, but I knew the wedding plan I was gonna use. At least there was everything was just on standby mm-hmm. in terms of now how things were. But initially, like it was still a matter of because my husband was still doing his masters, mm-hmm. so there was not much we could do until now he came back yeah um which was now like towards the end of that year mm. so see now that's when you start now planning for the introduction yeah and you know all these things but my dynamic was different because my like actually everybody at that time was not living in kenya yeah so we had to like find a way to kind of be efficient mm. now it was not even about tradition it was about efficiency, efficiency how do you yeah. how do we make it because at some point we will be doing introduction then there are negotiation after two years yeah it's true <laughs> then it's again true. another three thing after how many years you'd be engaged so, for five years you'd be engaged you'd be wondering how do you you don't want to get happened? married you yeah. know so um we had to be efficient so what we did we had our our, our introduction and negotiation on the same day yeah you know, so it was it was very interesting. So it was like introduction, they take a break and then yeah. now they were there go out, then they then they come yeah. back and then now they do the negotiation. But because yeah. my dad is a very simple man, 
Um, it was not it that. Worked. It was not that stressful mm. even on that capacity. Then now towards now the end end of that year, mm-hmm. that's when now they went and took uh, collected cows. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And then the plan was to get married the next yes. year. Oh yeah. Then, 2019. March hit. 2020. Covid. Yes. So tell us how did that dynamic change everything? Oh my gosh. In fact, I think I got COVID end of 2019. We both got COVID. I, I think we so, because we had traveled, then we came back. Yes. So just the next day, we started feeling all those symptoms that people were saying. Okay, yes. other than the breathing part, but feverish, your... It was bad. It was yeah. what? It was like a very bad cold that was like bad. There was not even no homa. Like there was no... Uh, mucus or mucus anything. Or it was just fever, and and high, high fever, and, and hot temperature, all that stuff. So we were admitted for like three days. Yes, because they thought it was H one N one, but I think it's because me. I suspect they didn't have the kids to like say it was COVID. Yeah. So we, we I couldn't even go. Actually, we couldn't even go for the now that other uh, session of now taking cows. Yeah. So my parents went. They took the cows and everything. Um, but there was a lot of dynamics also because you know a- another thing that most people um, consider when getting married, or rather, it takes them so long to decide to get married. Yeah. Usually, finances. It's true. So you find that now because oh the guy doesn't have a stable job yeah. now, so do what now? So should people wait? <laughs> <laughs> should people, should wait people wait before the, like especially the man, uh, Not woman, the man, man, woman, uh, people. You know, the man is the one who kind of initiates the thing. So if the man doesn't feel stable... But you know that someone, women won't. who are like, we don't have the money, what are we doing? You know, you can't assume that it's just the man who... Of course, he yeah, the... Like, no, I'm saying the men. man feels pressure. Yes. And as long as the man feels pressure... Yes. To have his life together before he can propose or before he can do all these yes. things. Yes. Of course, during the proposal, there was a plan. But like... Things were not going according to plan, and it was taking time for now him to get a job. I think at some point he got, yeah, a, I think which year was it? 2019. It was 2019 that he got the job. He got yeah. the job 2019. Yeah. So we're like, ah, perfect. Actually, because mm. it was a long process. You know, there was the there was the probation period. You are given mm. the pittance. Then now that's when you get kind of confirmed. Yeah. And then now you know all those things. So at least there was something stable. And not yeah. because I'm a business person, it's a bit you know up in the air. Mm. So um, I think I think yes and no. Because Let's put a pause on that. Yes. Because I know if you start getting into there, we are digressing. I think yes and no. I think the story on finances. You should wait and mm. you should not wait. So in, in the moment we felt there was a bit of stability, mm-hmm. we started planning. Yeah. Um, me, I knew I needed a wedding planner mm-hmm. because because at that same period, I I was like, that's when I kind of learned that I had clinical depression. Yeah. So I knew uh, I wanted, but even by the time I was getting, I just knew. I, I'm, I'm missing to a stress like that. Yeah. I just need someone to take all the stress and yeah. like help me plan. So, uh, needless to say, needless to say, that was my biggest stress. <laughs> the wedding planners oh. themselves were the biggest stress. Yeah. Um, not because of execution, but more or less in terms of dynamics with family, dynamics with me and my husband yeah you know i i would advise even if you're getting a wedding planner get somebody who also you know is somebody who's a therapist somebody who to can, some extent a therapy somebody who's empathetic yes, somebody who word. is sympathetic yeah somebody who can you know understand that it's not just about uh, uh, yeah. numbers but it's about actually a very emotional moment yes. Yes. For you, yes, because when you know? weddings are very heavily emotional, emotional. Yes. and it's not just for the bride, it's not just for the groom, it's for their families, the as parents, well. the, the parents, you know, the siblings. aunties, the cousins. Like it's 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 a whole family affair. Yes, so you need somebody who is who can be able to manage also expectations on both sides. Um, somebody who can be diplomatic, somebody who can let you down nicely. You know, not not uh, yeah. The way you let <laughs> someone down, just let them down nicely. Yeah. Not not not. It's not about all the yeah. So yeah. I think for me, I'd say um, that was the mistake I made. I just picking the wrong one. I wouldn't say not picking one. Yeah. Because I've met some planners who are very nice, yeah, very kind, very you know gentle people, and they get yeah. the job done. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you can compromise on the level of excellence, yeah, for for emotional peace. Yes. That's you know, true. It's, I think that's there's true. there's that compromise that you might want to also look at as yeah. well. 
um um yeah so there was that and then also now the issues of numbers mm. you see initially guys my wedding was supposed to be 700 invited guests pre-covid rsvp yani the ones who are saying we are coming we have written a whole the ones who are putting a card day. on it 700 but was it really 700 to look what make 700 you are, were you on in those meetings i was but i was like is it 700 people we know or 700 it, because of they know us or they know the point is they, they know, know us dad. they know yes that's no. the point they know our parents so they're still part of that yeah so 700 uh yeah i had that before at my wedding so <laughs> you can imagine how that was going yeah um a, a lot of back and forth fights had to be there mm. but at the end of the day we got married of course there are some things i regret how they went out how how, how do you say how they turned out how they turned out but also we had remember my mental state was not the greatest so one yeah. small thing was like yeah the big like the biggest thing you know yeah. so um <clears throat> i can't fault myself on that okay i'm learning not to fault myself yeah you know sometimes you can live in regret of like i wish i didn't do this i wish i didn't say this mm. especially because our weddings were so like four months so apart sweet, you're like oh man i just ah, i think the, the challenge you know. with your wedding also was that you see again as you've said when you're in africa and you're having a wedding it's a communal affair it's not just between two people. Like as much as people say it's your wedding, your rules, you that that applies to a certain extent. And, and as, I, not, as I was trying to say before, it depends on also how much you're willing to fight for that thing. But that's what I'm saying. It's the the the, the your wedding, your rules applies only to a certain extent. But now you see the challenge with what your yours had was that we are a communal society. Then COVID hits. And the government says you can only have 15 people at a wedding even though you had 30 no we I had 30 know. including service providers yes so, so like i mentioned my service providers were also friends exactly <laughs> so so you see when you say you're telling a whole community you cannot come to a wedding how do you even start 15 people is not even the entire family immediate family you understand it's true so that caused a lot of friction and i i actually quite agree because a lot of friction but the thing is to, not in a bad way as we learned Mm, you see now I was we a land dummy. It's it's like I was going to give away our our, our something, but it's fine. Yes. But we 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 took our cues because we got married like four months apart. Um, we took our cues from you, and then by the time we were getting married, at least the the COVID restrictions had kind of no, it had up. opened up. It had eased up a bit, but do I, I I think for me I would say don't really burden yourself or blame yourself for a lot of those things. It's because we don't know this new dynamic of doing weddings. Yeah. Like the like the dynamic of having few people, uh, uh, even like a service provider coming to provide for a wedding for a few people. You know when you tell a service provider I'm having a wedding, they will quote a serious but amount. Now you tell them we are ten. So, so how do you quote how do you quote a ten people <laughs> wedding for ten people? How is that? You yeah. know. So I think that's also something. I think that there was that, to... and then also it was a lot of um, family dynamics that also came into play. Yeah. Because. There are two families who believe in planning weddings differently, mm. prioritize different things. Mm. Uh, because for us, one of the things we really cared about was how the photos were, were going to look like. Mm. Which actually led to a point where we actually had two ceremonies. Mm. So we had literally had a ceremony for official, mm -hmm. and then we had a ceremony for photos. Yeah. Like, a whole ceremony, guys. Yeah. Like, plus someone, plus everything. Yeah. Like, the one for, for official was just for the parents okay here it is we have done the official thing in the church we are parents then ours now was now the garden one mm. where now we wanted now the the difficulty was the location that could have taken 50 people was like was too big yeah so in terms of photos it, the, was that, it, was, it, was, it was not gonna look good in the photos yeah. if you are like even even if you are like 50 yeah and the location is for 200 people yeah does that make sense yeah so and my husband was like because first of all my husband probably got nothing out of this wedding except marry me yeah because so so, his best man couldn't come with mm. the state his sisters were not able to come only one was around mm. he's even the parents it was the, hand of, was it was the hand of god yeah. that made that made sure the parents came yeah and you see all the things so for me for him it was like for the photos we might as well get a residential place mm. that can like even when you see the photos it looked like it was intentional yeah. that this was the thing yeah yeah and i said anyway this is the hill i'm willing to die on for my husband yeah. because he has gotten nothing yeah 
because yeah. if I had accepted that one, all we could have gotten was West African food, which was fantastic. <laughs> and 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 now that is it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that was the hill I was doing. It it caused problems. Mm. People people oh grandmothers did this, people did what and what. But then I look back and ask myself, well, these people, all these people came and danced at your wedding. How many yeah. people have called you to find out how are you? How are you doing? Out of the 200, how many? 10? 15? Hey, you see it now. 10? 15? <laughs> 30? <laughs> I get your point. Now, that is, where, just... that is where now I, I, I usually now weigh the scale. Yeah. Because people come, maybe people won't even remember your anniversary. But I can mm. tell you, everybody who attended my wedding mm. would remember my anniversary. Yeah. You know, so that was a plus. So that was for me. That was a plus. It yeah. was a plus. It's a difficult plus because we are a communal society. Yeah. But I think it still made sense. Yeah. And my sister in law always tells me, I, I can never, I would have never inv- inv- envisioned your wedding any other way. Yeah. Than how it was. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that was that was the case. So, uh, all in all, we didn't have a honeymoon until a year later. We just went to the to the local to hotel. hotel. To the, okay, to the local. It sounds like oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> But like a hotel, you know, when, when you say honeymoon, it's anyway, like honeymoon, Kibanaski. honeymoon is what you make it to be. But I yeah, would say honeymoon. Nice. It was really most nice. people think at least you're outside Nairobi. It was like five days of just relaxing. You know, you have the stress has ended. Getting yeah. to know your spouse. It was nice. Yeah. Um. But now we went for our real honeymoon now. A year later, later. on their first first anniversary. Uh, first anniversary yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's that's. Eh, no, I feel like there's so much to unpack, unpack, and yes. talk about in this whole process. So maybe. As we go along, I think mm. we can touch on different aspects. Like now, talk about getting a wedding planner. Mm. Then the other thing of maybe choosing your bridesmaids, and then you know different things, choosing vendors, the type of food that you'd right. want to we, have. I have to get my wedding was so chaotic <laughs> because you know. I need to have bride. I had two. I had a best maid and a. We were supposed to be like six. Yes. When there being two. We were two. But there were, it was good. It it still worked out. I liked it. It know. was good. It was good. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we were talking about bridal showers. I oh, think that, that was so lovely. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. No, my bridal shower was amazing. Yeah. It was really nice. Quality people. Just get quality people. Guys, <laughs> just get quality people. You know, people are the ones that make your moments. You know, even when I think about my bridal shower, I'm like, these were quality people. You so, know? so so then what, what's, what's the maybe one thing that you'd advise couples who are intending to get married to as keep in I, mind? Yeah, keep in mind as they are, mm. you know, in this process, this planning process. I think I think the one thing I can say mm. is that is that your friends can be your biggest asset. Yeah. Your friends can be your biggest asset mm-hmm. or your biggest downfall. Mm. It's, it's, it goes on it goes. It's any side of the pendulum. Yeah. Because like for me, hey, I can say my friends really came through for me mm. during my wedding. Like even, because I bake my own wedding cake, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But now my my really, really good friend, Lynn, mm-hmm. of Lynn's Bakes, who is like Woo, an awesome hey, baker. Um, We're bringing her on. Uh, on the soon. podcast as well yes. who is actually i would say i look up to her as, yeah. a, as in the industry because she's a bit ahead of me mm. in that aspect mm. um yes she really came through she's the one who like helped me you know assemb- you know that whole stress of assembling decorating you know yeah. all those things you know fixing any issues yeah. she's the one who really came through for 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 me during that yeah. uh, day you know Jerry was my MC mm. you know I, I at that point there was someone i had in mind obviously um also a good friend but but I was like, okay, no, I wanted Jerry, the money, but you didn't want to. So no, I, we, yeah, thing. because you see, as I said, the dynamic of families and priorities yeah. on certain things. Now yeah. you have to now do the math, yeah, because someone won't understand. Someone's just coming to talk for is doing what, yeah, why are we pay them this much, yeah. But I think for me, the main reason was I was trying to just get people who I was very close to mm. to be a part of the day because yeah. also the, for me, it was now I needed my friends to witness me getting yeah, married and yeah. the only way i could is okay so you do this service mm. just come on board yeah and she did a great job because yeah. actually it was a very it, it was very it, it did have a lot of pomp and yeah. a lot of stuff yeah. it was a very intimate wedding yeah. very small yeah um um yeah so jerry was our mc did such a great job mm-hmm. um and then her hubby was our dj dj yeah. Damolo. but Damolo has always has been like the family dj we have never yeah. gone anywhere 
give him your money. <laughs> the follower is always with our family DJ, you know. Um, so you see now, I was just trying to get guys who like, cause they also are my bride or shah. Like you know, just yeah. people who quality you, people. Just people who you know are you know, <laughs> and also not just friends who are friends, but friends who also know their jobs. Yes, you know people who can execute, not yeah. just people who uh, they're just there to uh, spoil your wedding. Yeah, true. Who else was there? I know the photographer was a good friend of yours as well. Actually, mm-hmm. I didn't know that until. You, the wedding day, yeah. and they were like, "Oh my gosh, yes!" Lady. Then you also came through in terms of editing because mm-hmm. I needed the editing style for yeah. that I wanted, which now the photographer um, um, was doing dif- a different editing style. Usually, photographers don't do that. Yeah, so you see now like that you, you should. Yeah, don't go and ask somebody to give you raw photos. No, 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 no. <laughs> but he he gave me because he knew my he work. Trusted her. Work. Oh yeah, I, I did photography in another life. So yes. I, she still I have does. Some, just that uh, I do. She, she yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You see now, like those small favors you can get mm. as as you go along. Of course, of course. Now, I think it was only food and deco that I didn't use. Someone I knew. You don't even talk about the gown. Then now the gown. Now I'll get to the highlights. The the icing on the cake. <laughs> the gown. Yeah, I know you had asked me previously what made me choose that gown. Yeah. But okay, from the time I started, even when you didn't even know you were going to be a wedding dress designer, yeah. you I already a bridal gown designer. I just knew okay, Van will do my dress. Yeah, because basically I've always been your muse for all these things. So uh, basically, when I was thinking about uh, the wedding gown, I was um, first of all I just wanted something simple. I realized mm. I'm a simple person. I think I like pomp in theory. I do. <laughs> it's not a lie. It's not a lie. <laughs> I think I like pomp in theory the because fanciness, because yeah. even, even that dress we did for the collection yeah I was like wow but then I think about it I'm like I probably would right. have, <laughs> I probably would never wear this dress at yeah. a real function you know yeah. so I was a very like very simple bride I didn't want something too out there mm. um and and actually initially because I wanted to get married on the beach guys. I, I, there's something about me and what I don't know. Mm. So I want to get married on the beach, but obviously because of restrictions, money, parents, COVID, so many other factors, yeah. it didn't happen. Um, so initially, I just wanted even a very flowy bride, you know, just you know, beach vibes. Boho shi. Boho shi. Me, me, I'm a boho, boho yeah. kind of um, person. Yeah. So uh, what I did, and which I think I can recommend even to guys watching, maybe you want to, you're getting married, you're thinking about getting married. Maybe you're engaged. I think that's for more engaged. Mm. Do bridal dress shopping, even if you know who's gonna make your outfit. Yeah. Just do the because you might you might think you want a style. Yeah. And then after you've tried on the outfit, you realize that it's not your thing. It doesn't make sense. It's not your thing it because make she sense. she she wanted. Um, I wanted a line, a line style, a line sheer, kind of like a yes. very um, light and airy. light and airy. Not 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 sat, no, not satin. This is the one that people like chiffon, not chiffon, chiffon. Yeah, not chiffon. It was more of like not. It's like a soft tool. You know the one that is just. Let me just say light and airy. Yes, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll pull yeah. I'll <laughs> <laughs> So so unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted. But when I when I tried on outfits. I realized now the one that is more fitting accentuates my body better. And I told her that one. Accentuate your assets. You know? That's what makes you look. So good. I was like, ah, and anyway, this one that dress was not nice, but it gave the idea of what we were we yeah. were we were looking at, yeah. you know? Yeah. So do the shopping and it's a good experience. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. I remember I did partially with another friend of ours called Pamela. It was really nice. But mm. my got married a year before me. So um then of course now you did the design because now yeah. they come up with what fits my body yeah. and then now you did the design and when i just saw that cut thing that cut thing of like one one sleeve one do sleeve. what thing what i said <laughs> ah this is it i knew it was the one because even for me i, I like unique things i like mm. unique things. So even if you see my engagement ring my wedding oh sorry i'm, I'm not wearing it because now i am i have Tattoo a permanent one ring. yeah so we, we got this one also at, at our anniversary but I still wear it uh, when I'm going out. I just don't like wearing it in the house because really I don't want to lose it. Mm. So um, if you see it, it's a rose gold yeah. with a morganite stone. That yeah. one, even if I show anybody here, mm. before you find that one, you will have looked and looked and looked. Yeah. So I just like unique things. So when I saw the dress, I was like, this is such a unique, 
you know, detail. design and yeah. unique detail. Yeah. And also we had like now the pink, um, the rose gold. Because her colors gold. were maroon and rose gold. Actually. Yes, you have yeah. the rose gold um, detail. detail on the sides. Mm. Of course, that was contentious because we all know Mama uh, Mawana women, all women think that if you're not with pure white, you have not done the things. But I was like, no, that is just it. <laughs> Oh, it's called for folk folk tales. Folk tales. Uh, folk 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 law. Folk law. Yes. So I was like, ah. So eventually, people just came on board and everything. So, but the interesting thing is, I actually, had two gowns. Yeah. So I had one that was for the church, which was like uh, to the la- to the afterthought. Whatever. It wasn't even uh, something that we, uh, we did care for it. Yeah. Actually, we did care for it. Even me, I didn't because I was already tired. I was like, oh my <laughs> gosh, you know, I did them myself. Eh? Yes. So I was just like, <sighs> but you didn't even. Okay, me personally, I like the dress. She doesn't like the dress because it's not a fitting dress. Which one? No, it the, was, the first one. It, it was, was fitting. fitting. I just didn't like the yeah. silhouette. The silhouette. I don't know. I felt like this, I did. You see, even sometimes as a designer, when you do things and you're like, I don't like it. Oh. So, like, I had I had issues with the neckline. I was like, I just don't like it. I don't like it. It, 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 didn't look, it didn't look the way I'd envisioned it on her, so... Oh, there's a way you had envisioned, yeah. and there's a way it came out. Yes. Now me, I didn't know how you had envisioned. So me, I was it like, it is nice. You are married. No, me, I liked it. Okay. Mm-hmm. For That's the all church, that mattered. For the, church, for the church, me, I liked it. So, uh, I, yeah, guys, I even know sandals. Me, I'm telling you, I was like, I don't like this one. But if you see now the real one, yeah. hey, we were shining. We were yeah. shining like diamonds. So, yeah, that's what made me decide. It was very, it was very simple, very classy. And um, no, I no my wedding dress is like one of the things I really loved about my wedding. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm glad. Yes, I like making clients happy. No, I was even if happy. you're my sister. Hey, you know, mm. sometimes when you work with family, you fear that they will be like, ah, this one is just my relative. They no, will not no, do no, anything. No, 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 no. In fact, it's even more pressure. It's, it's, always it's, more pressure. it's always more pressure. It's always more pressure. I think we have extended too long now. No, it's okay. But it's, it's okay. fantastic. Yes. I think I've had fun. Yes. I would have so many other questions, but I think we can continue tackling them as we go along. As we go. There's so much. So, yeah. So, expect great things. Expect a lot of entertainment. Expect a lot of education. Like, we are not um, experts, 100%, but we have experiences. Um, will we bring other, you know, brides or previous brides to just come on board and give the experiences as well? Because we learned that as you as you talk about what I went through, that is how you learn probably what to do better. Mm. Yeah. Um, so that you don't have to burn your fingers like many people did already. So, you know, they say you learn from other people's experiences. Mm. So we'll have a lot of people coming on board. We'll also have a segment where we talk to vendors mm. and their experiences as well. Yes. So today we've heard from our lovely co-host here, Stacey, on her bridal experience. This is the bridal side. So we'll have her vendor side <laughs> as well. Experience. Ooh, um, side. Maybe in a couple of episodes down the yes, line. Yes, yes, know. yes. So, but yeah, guys, that's what we're about. This is what we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, don't forget to follow, like, share, subscribe. Yes. Do all the necessaries. Yes. You know, um, to get the word out there. Because I think it's more about helping brides yeah and i think also i know we're focusing more, mainly on brides but i think grooms will also learn oh well, no we're going to bring grooms we want to bring grooms yeah. as well yeah 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 because you're you're getting married to of you the two of you it's not mm-hmm. at the bride getting married exactly. alone I've, I've never for that idea it's yeah. two people exactly yeah and and also about just understanding you know some some of these things you know that's why we're saying we're not experts because some things are very specific to yeah your relationship yeah you know you have to know your spouse no yeah. you know just many things we could delve deeper <laughs> but i'm trying to keep it short you know but yes so all those things we're not experts don't take it as now cast on stone the ladies mm. of bridal peace shop have said now we must do ah, yes ah, what has worked for you and what works for the dynamic of your relationship yeah is the best thing we, are, we can all we can do is give tips skeletons we're just know, giving the skeletons that can yeah. that that would maybe help you that we've seen okay these are universal things yeah that every bride and groom have said they matter to them in yes. hindsight. You yes. know, the hindsight is only twenty twenty. Now we're trying true. to make sure that the vision is clear for you from the get from the get go. Not Don't that think now hindsight. for us. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, share, like, subscribe, follow us on I by Tafari and La Pastorie de Joie. Now you need to spell that one for people. Because that word. That is a French. Let word. me tell you. 
it's very easy. All you have to do is just put L A P A. -A. Yes. You, you'll find La Patisserie de Joie there. Yes. It's a it's a French name. Or from Kenyan perspective, La Patisserie. La Patisserie de Joie. De Joy. De Joy. De Joy. Joy. De Joy. I know it's a long name, but it also has like very deep significance for me. Which we will we'll talk about. Which we'll, we'll talk about too. Vendors. Adulting for real and um Valerie Wango Stacy Oma underscore. You can just follow us and yeah we are so excited to start this journey with you guys and we hope to see you next week bye cheers guys.